the scandals continue to pile up in Washington, so do the questions. The most important of all, was the president directly involved in any of them? RNC Chair Reince Priebus joins me now with his thoughts on that. So, Reince, do you believe the president was involved? Well, we're putting out some uh, some things today to try to shed some light on this. We've got at least eight people around the president that knew something, and I guess this is how these sorts of scandals unfold. And so when you have Lois Lerner and Miller and Remler and Lou and McDonough and Childress and one after the next that actually knew something before anyone else did, um, you start questioning those people, and then those people will start talking about what they knew, and then more will come out. Look, one or two things are going on, Gretchen. I think you, you've talked about this for a week and a half. If the president actually knew something, well, then clearly uh, he's not being truthful and no one around him is. If he didn't know anything, then I, I think it suggests a level of aloofness or, or perhaps even incompetence that I think is pretty disturbing in its own right. So. Mm -hmm. This isn't the, 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 the end of the line. This is just the beginning, and I've got a good feeling that Daryl Issa is going to be having quite a summer in reviewing what's been going on here in the White House as far as this scandal is concerned. Well, some people are saying with regard to the IRS scandal and targeting Tea Party patriot groups that maybe it's given a new life to these organizations, some sort of redemption for the GOP. How do you respond to that? Well, I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's pretty offensive. I mean, it's not just offensive, but it's un-American. Uh, and, and I think it, it should, I hope it gives new life, and, 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 I, and I hope that it actually helps these organizations. But what this is, is it, it's targeting in the worst way, politically. And so we were involved in a campaign that was very important. Obviously, we all worked very hard. And you have the president or, okay, the president's staff or administration or some people that are using the federal government and the IRS to actually tamp down his political opponents. And it wasn't just these Tea Party groups, which is bad enough. What about all the individuals? I mean, we're going to start hearing about individual people that were targeted, mm -hmm. letters from the well, IRS yeah, yeah. finding out why, why did you... Yeah, right. And now you, you all were talking about it. It's going to be more and more of that. It's individuals. It's groups. It's almost any group person that was critical of the White House. Now, how did this happen? Yep. What, just Be someone made this up out of thin air? Right. Before I let you go, Bob Dole uh, yesterday said something about the GOP that you probably didn't like too well. He said that they should put out a closed for repairs sign. Your response to Mr. Dole? Well, look, I mean, we've spent uh, almost the entire first half of this year talking to 52,000 people about what we can do better to, in presidential elections. But look, we, we can't be closed. We've got, a, we've got a race in New Jersey, Virginia. We've got a good shot up in Massachusetts with Gomez. We've got to hold the House and win the Senate. So, I mean, uh, c closing, uh, I, I think in his mind, means doing some reflection, making some big-time improvements, and getting better at presidential elections. But in the midterms, I expect us to do very well and it's a matter of coming back stronger and bigger as a national party uh, in three and a half years. But in the meantime, we've got big time work to do. All right. It's a never ending process, that political, right. uh, that political process. Ryan Sepp Priebus, head of the RNC. Thanks so much. Have a good week.